ओके वोल्टेज कन्वर्टर्स अफकोर्स फ्लैक्स रे एंड कैन बोथ नीड दी ट्रांसिवर्स बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट द वोल्टेज लेवल्स दे आर क्वाइट डिफरेंट द वोल्टेज लेवल्स ऑन द कैन बस एंड द वोल्टेज लेवल्स ऑन द फ्लैक्स रे बस बोथ डिफरेंट वोल्टेज लेवल्स वेन यू लुक एट द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर ओके so that is the reason they need a transceiver flex ray makes use of flex ray transceiver and can makes use of a can transceivers they are voltage converters from ttl to can bus voltage levels from uh, from can bus logic level to ttl and vice versa so for both can and flex ray both makes use of a transceivers okay let us look at the applications can is basically used for safety critical applications such as abs airbag engine management system whereas flex ray is much faster than can it is used in adas x by y system high performance application what about the start stop bits can uses a start of frame and it has got a end of frame which consists of seven resistive bits flex ray starts with uh, there is no start stop bits there are uh, in flex ray but it has got uh, indicator bits uh, when it starts the frame okay look at the bus terminating resistor okay why do we need bus terminating resistor so to avoid the signal reflections and to avoid the noise uh, we need a bus terminating resistor okay so as per the standard the can uses 120 ohm resistor to terminate the bus at both the ends even the flex ray also uses a pull up resistor about 80 to 100 ohm as a at a bus terminating resistor okay what about the protocol controller okay for can network every node requires can controller it can be internal or it can be external okay if uh, uh, if the microcontroller doesn't have inbuilt can controller so it can be interfaced uh, uh, with the external can controller Okay, so same goes with the flex flex ray also. Flex ray also require a flex ray controller which basically runs the protocol part. Same with the can also. Can controller also runs the can protocol part. So flex ray controller runs the flex flex ray protocol uh, part. Data bytes. Okay, so in a can frame maximum of eight bytes can be sent, whereas in flex ray which is much more than can maximum of two fifty four bytes can be sent. so this is one of the advantage of using the flex ray so flex ray has uh, flex ray is 10 times faster than can as well as okay look at the types of frames okay can has four types of frame formats data frame remote frame error frame and overload frame the data frame is used to send the data whereas rem uh, remote frame is used to request the data error frame is used to send the or indicate the error on the bus and overload frame is used for the slower nodes flex ray also has four different cyclic uh, cycle variants of uh, frame now you look at the picture so you have four different uh, the cycle variants okay uh, variant a where you have a static segment and you have a network idle time okay variant b where you have static segment and you have optional dynamic segment and network idle time okay and variant c where you have static segment dynamic segment symbol window and network idle time this is the third variant so in the last variant where you can see um, the static segment symbol window and network idle time okay so the static segment and network idle time they are mandatory whereas dynamic segment and symbol window they are optional okay if any node has any message to be sent uh, it can make use of a dynamic segment if doesn't have then it's optional 